There we go. Yeah, moving slow motion. Okay, what you need to do is uh, lift up your two um, gun barrels and then make a shove this up. One more. There you go. Well, hopefully this won't be in some weird format that I can't uh, use or have to download a special. And here we are at uh, Calico. You can see Calico up there. This has got a 10 power optical zoom, which is a pretty, pretty big. Let me steady myself. I'm gonna zoom in on that lantern. Oh, I was zoomed in. That's pretty good. <clears throat> oh, my GPS has turned on inside my camera. And that's where the hell am I? That's right. This function is currently not available. Okay, I don't know why. There's a ranger's house down there. And we're gonna end it right here because this is all experimental. Top target, 44 special black powder. Bottom target, 25 feet, 44 special, unique powder. Man, a great grouping to the last shot. Well, look at these sights. Right, a little notch in the thing. Thirty-eight special, four point six grains of unique, one hundred and fifty-eight grain bullet, jacketed, out of a two-inch barrel on a Rock Island Arsenal 38.
38 special 2.7 grains of unique on 158 grain bullet out of a 2 inch barrel on a Rock Island Arsenal 38. Thirty-eight uh, special, one hundred fifty-eight grain lead bullet, two point seven grains of uh, unique. A comparison out of a nineteen ten manufacturer Smith and Wesson Model Ten. Shot this in or out in the last one. Good shot. Oh man, this is a magnificent uh, sun dog right now. Yeah, that's a rare thing to see. You know, there's the sun on your left. Well, you can't see it behind the mirror. But what it is, is uh, the sunlight being reflected through, uh, refracted through ice crystals. They act like prisms, and you get what's called a sun dog. Uh, on even other rare occasions, you get a double sun dog. But that's uh, that's kind of amazing, right there. Sun dog. Sun dog. Ooh, doggies. Okay, here we are at uh, Rainbow Basin Owl Campground. We used to camp here a lot. But not for a long time. You can see that there's um, these really crazy science fiction like rock formations. I think I need to bring my grandkids here one time, at least once. And this is where we're spending the night in a nice, quiet, clean, cool campground with covers and Fire pits and you name it, you name it. How much does it cost? A hundred thousand dollars? It's six dollars a night. Well, I got two dollars. You got a five? Sure, if you like, buddy. No, I, I, I don't have a five. But Didn't he give you a five at? Uh... He gave me a ten, a ten bucks. Or did they give me a five? Oh look, if it got a five, then all I need is your one. I need a pen. A pen? Well, look, they need to write full stuff. Anyway, we got to fill out this uh, minutia here and drop it off in the box, and then we'll set up camp later. So this thing is called a Swedish log. Uh, it doesn't appear to be doing too well. Unless it's forced bed to eat underneath. Yeah, we tried to uh, set it up the way it was supposed to be, but it didn't work at all. So did I say Swedish log? Swedish torch. It's supposed to be a Swedish torch. So we're trying different methods of setting it on fire. The Kurt's over here uh, cooking dinner. There he is. And um, that's pretty much it for now. We've had our beer. And we're going to eat and sit around the campfire and tell bullshit stories. More on that later. Bye. So, uh, yeah, this is me and all my dirtiness. Whew. 
I really love being out here. One of the best places on earth you could be. It's the California desert. Or any desert. You know. Don't get me wrong, I like the forests, I like the rivers. But this place is just no describing it. Peace and quiet, solitude. That's how it is. Okay. Here it is, bright sunny morning, Rainbow Basin. Getting cleaned up. Packing up. Gonna break camp here in a little while. Gonna cruise around, look for another place to do a little bit more shooting today. And then we're gonna head home. Here's our camp from last night. It is what it is and it ain't what it ain't. So uh, hopefully we'll get a few, a little bit more footage and be able to edit something salvageable out of this crap. Well, this is where we're going to spend the rest of the afternoon. Do some shooting, do some luncheon. There's a view for you, huh? Way out. Kurt's digging stuff out already. Look at that.